If you want to know how I got these delicious chocolate covered strawberries, keep watching. Valentine's Day is not the only day you can try these chocolate covered strawberries. They could be just because. Washed and dried strawberries. A little coconut oil that we're going to use to mix in with the chocolate. Two measuring cups, dark chocolate and white chocolate. Mini cupcake holders to place the strawberries in. As well as the two picks that we're going to use to grab the strawberries. Two sandwich bags that we're going to use for piping and parchment paper to place the strawberries on. So let's get started. Okay guys, now the fun part, I'm going to dip the strawberry in the chocolate, kind of swirl it around a little and see how pretty that looks. I think the coconut oil added a little shine. Now I'm going to take some off the tip and kind of place it on a parchment paper and I apologize guys, I am out of frame. I think it's going to get a little bit better and I'm constantly just going over from side to side with the vanilla, but I will get better. Sorry guys. So now I have a strawberry where I like it. So I get the vanilla or the white chocolate and go from side to side. And you see how pretty that looks? You don't have to be a professional, you guys. You just want it nice and pretty. And just pretty much add your own design. So I did this. And I'm going to show you something a little bit later. A different way you can do it. Just keep watching. So now I'm going to take some of that white chocolate and just do the opposite of what I did with the dark chocolate. I'm going to swirl the strawberry around and get a little off the end and place it down. Grab the piping bag and again, now I'm using the dark chocolate to make the designs. You guys, I know it looks like a six-year-old did it, but it was my first time and it was fun. Now we're going to take the design that in a different direction. I mean, this is your strawberry. You can do it however you like. It's still pretty. Now the chocolate is kind of starting to get a little bit hard, but I'm going to show you another trick. I'm going to do something really fun. I'm grabbing the toothpick and going across that one sideways and just adding a different variation to design. But as I continue to do this, I noticed that the chocolate was starting to get a little bit hard. So what I would suggest maybe is keeping the chocolate some kind of way where it stays warm and pliable because it did get a little difficult throughout the process. But keep watching. Now guys, we're going to have a little bit more fun, so I kind of got a spark and 
drizzle some of the white chocolate into the dark chocolate dip the strawberry in and swirled it around and you get this beautiful marble design but as you can see I'm swirling a little too much and I'm not getting the design that I really want so I'm going to just place a little bit more white chocolate into that and I found later on or as the more that the more that I did it if you just put the strawberry in one swirl and come right back up you get a beautiful beautiful design either way it goes you're just doing something nice they still turned out beautifully and delicious Now I'm going to do the opposite. I drizzle some of the dark chocolate into the white chocolate and we're going to see how these turn out. Look how pretty this turned out. It was just something to do. It does not have to be perfect. I'm not a professional. I just like doing things. And I think I did a decent job for my first time. I've learned what to do and what not to do. So I'll be trying this again. Try this recipe and let me know how it turns out, you guys. Bye.